Hello everyone, I'm William Jenks, president of US Classic Guitar, and I'm very excited to be today to be with Sharon Isbin, multi-Grammy award winner. How are you doing, Sharon? I'm doing great, it's wonderful to join you here. Thank you. So I'm very excited. She's going to be presenting several concerts and masterclasses. And the first concert will be in Portland on May 6th at 7 p.m. at the Trinity Episcopal Cathedral, which by the way is a new venue for us because um, we just you know needed to find a better venue and the sound is excellent in there. And she's also having a masterclass the day before. And then in LA, she'll be giving a recital on May 8th, which is Mother's Day at the gorgeous historic First Congregational Church of Los Angeles. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that performance will be also streamed on live for a pay-per-view audience. So Sharon, I'm really glad to see you're on tour again. And where are some of the places you've been recently? And is your tour pretty much back to full schedule now? Well, I started playing again in April of 2021 the first concert then uh, since the pandemic was with the Maryland Symphony Orchestra. I moved on to summer festivals like Caramore and the Aspen Music Festival, which I'll return to again this summer. It's every July and August. And I've been playing all over the place with uh, solo concerts, also with Strings for Peace, the group from India that I recorded with. We've been in uh, I, I actually I was just in Seattle, Washington, and Phoenix, Arizona, several cities in Texas, Alabama, Florida, uh, all over the place, Georgia. So it's been wonderful to return to audiences live and to have a chance to feel that just tremendous energy that you get with people listening and responding. Excellent, excellent. So good to see that. So I noticed you're going to be performing two major works on your program that were pieces written for you, one by Leo Brower. Can you tell us about that piece first? Well, the program actually brings together Spanish elements with others that have gone on to introduce new styles. So in the case of Leo Brower, you'll hear the Afro-Cuban elements that he brings together. This is a work that he wrote for me and that has become one, one of his signature compositions. It's inspired by love songs collected in Africa by a 19th century German ethnologist, and they tell a story of a warrior and his tribe. And it's a work in three different movements called El de Camaro Negro with three ballads. Great. I've heard many other performers do that, so it's going to be really good to hear the original person it was intended for. So that's going to be excellent. It's kind of become a major work in the guitar world. So let's also talk a little bit about the, um, is it Tan Dun? Is that how I say it? Um, the, uh, yes, Tan Dun. You might wonder how that fits into a program that has Spanish and Latin American elements, but Tan Dun, when he wrote the concerto for me, Yi Too, he then asked if he could write a solo work based on that. This is called Seven Desires for Guitar, and the guitar desires to be a pipa, which is an ancient Chinese lute. And when Tan Dun was banished to the countryside during the Cultural Revolution. He was forbidden to play on any any Western instruments, and he had to use whatever was available to him. So this would be sticks, pans, pots, and he had a chance to research folk elements during this time. So this piece reflects all of that, and he likes to bring to Beth together the cultural legacy of the instrument for which he's writing the contemporary one in our case it's the spanish guitar so you'll hear gestures of flamenco music with the strumming the stomping of the flamenco singer this the uh dancers all of that coming together intermelded with the chinese folk elements of the pipa the pipa and the guitar actually do share certain uh, techniques together. Uh, you can hear, for example, the bent notes that are ghostly evocations in the pipa and on the guitar, they sound like Jimi Hendrix. And you'll hear the, the flamenco-like strums that are very common also to the pipa. And of course, the tremolo effect that pipa uses by playing with their fingers and plectrums going in this direction. Of course, we play in the opposite direction. And it is something that by adding the thumb to the whole mix, you can continue really forever in terms of sustaining a note. Excellent. 
So I noticed that uh, you've been teaching at the Aspen uh, Music Festival and Juilliard Music School for quite some time. How long have you been teaching at those institutions now? Well, I created the Juilliard School Guitar Department in 1989, and I've had students there, really amazing kids from over 20 different countries. A couple of them have recently won the GFA first prize. That would be uh, T.Y. Teng Wei Zhang and Bok Yong Byum most recently in uh, last fall in 2021. So it has been a joy to work with people who bring to their creativity of uh, just new ideas and I love teaching. Excellent. So there are some other, uh, let's talk about some of the other works on the program. Yes, I'll be doing music as well from Spain of Granados and Francisco Tarrega, uh, Antonio Lauro from Venezuela. I had a, a wonderful experience once in Caracas playing the Natalia Waltz. And all of a sudden I heard this amazing improvisation on another guitar and it turned out to be Natalia herself who had joined me on a folk instrument. And I was so inspired by that that I thought someday I'll have the opportunity, I hope, for playing this kind of duet with another kind of arrangement. And I actually asked a former student of mine, Colin Davin, with whom I'd been playing concerts, to arrange a second guitar part inspired by that folk idiom. And he did. We included it on the new album called Affinity, which also has the Tan Dunn and the Leo Brower works. So going to South America, what trip would be complete without Barrios Mangore, so there is a set of, of Barrios as well. Oh yes, Colin's great. We just had him perform in the series a year or two ago. Oh, terrific. So it was excellent. And I also um, noticed that you have 35 albums out. So it's just a huge disc discography of albums. It's just impressive. So what are what's your most recent recording that you've um, put out? Well, two came out in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. They had already been finished beforehand. And one is the album I mentioned, Affinity, that has the Brower Tan Dunn. It also has a beautiful work by Richard Danielpour. All of these are, are works composed for me. The Danielpour includes the Met Opera star Isabel Leonard in a work that was written for the two of us that we premiered in 2015. And it's inspired by the poetry of Rumi. Daniel Poor being of Persian descent. So it represents several different continents of composers in one album. And of course, the signature piece on Affinity is the title work, a concerto by Chris Brubeck, who is the son of the famous jazz composer and pianist Dave Brubeck. And he even pays tribute to his father on that with a beautiful arrangement of a ballad by Dave called Autumn that's part of the slow section and surrounded by all of that is very virtuosic writing in Middle Eastern and jazz styles. Wow. And you've collaborated with some amazing um, big names throughout the, your career. Uh, one in particular that I'm interested in um, hearing about is Steve Vai because he's one of my favorite rock guitarists. So how did that come about and what kind of music did you guys play together? Well, Steve and I actually met, we were put together to, to perform at a Grammy function in New York City. And we really hit it off and uh, just began to collaborate. So I invited him to join me in Paris when I was doing a series of concerts at the Châtelet and he composed the Blossom Suite for us, which was a duet for electric guitar for him to play and classical for me. And I also invited him to the album that is called Guitar Passions, where Steve is one of the guests improvising to a, a Barrios work. And I'm joined by people like Steve Morris and Romero Lubambo, even Nancy Wilson from Heart. Oh, great. Well, I just want to stress to everyone to please um, make it out to these recitals. This is going to be excellent. We have two beautiful venues, excellent acoustics, and you can also watch it in the comfort of your own home. Uh, you can get this online ticket. It'll be great. I'm really looking forward to the master classes and 
just thank you for being here today, Sharon, and I'm really looking forward to your concerts. It's my pleasure and thank you, William, for all that you're doing for the guitar and bringing people from all corners of the planet to come and play on your series. I think it's really inspiring and exciting. You're welcome. Great. Well, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks.